What's going on YouTube? I'm shooting this with a Kodak Easy Share Sport, which is an underwater camera. I know I came back and said I was going to do it with a DSLR. Well, I figured I might try to get this and see if we can actually get some underwater shots. But it already looks better just from uh, what I can see. Now, I'm not using a tripod because I'm going to be moving around a lot. But let's go in and finally get a closer look at my tank and hopefully you can see some colors and I'll walk you around everything, try to hold it nice and still. First off, we got the blue button polyps, the clove polyps, there's my Duncan. You still can't see the colors of that real good. Come on down, encrusting Montipora with some uh, with some blue spotted mushrooms. Of course, the Kenya tree. I'm not sure if these are some kind of green star polyps or pulsing zine. I'm not sure. I don't think they're pulsing zinia, but um, blasto. There's the red polyp, button polyp, Zoa, with the uh, the green on the outside and the blue in the middle. There's my favorite right there, the electric green. Another piece of the Monty Cap. There's some A cans, some red A cans. Dog spawn, some red mushrooms. There's my uh, my hammer that uh, split into two heads. An SPS garden. It looks kind of brown in this light. This one's like a real blue color. The green bird's nest, SPS. Huge colony of these. These uh, zoas or polyps that are spreading everywhere. Candy cane. And then crusting cap, which I brought back from the brink of nothing. So I'll take you into the tank here in a minute, but uh, there's the overall. As you can see, my cyano is not too bad. I'm not leaking right at the moment. I dropped down my overflow box to drop the water level down a little bit so it wasn't spilling over. I figured out it was leaking right in here um, just because the water was coming over the edge there. Down to the sump. Everything seems pretty happy, except for my poor little anemone. He is not very happy. I think I'm, gonna have to, I'm trying to get rid of him and see if I can uh, sell him or trade him in for something. Uh, as for, if you can see in the back, I'm running the dual overflow Herbie method, one full siphon controlled with the ball valve right here and one for the emergency overflow. I'm also running right back here in the overflow. I'm running uh, that Fox guard that we were talking about earlier. Um, just a just a uh, reminder: if you buy RO salt water from your local fish store, keep in mind to check the salinity of that salt water. I did a 10-gallon water change the other day, and I wasn't really paying attention. I go to these guys pretty often for salt water. wasn't paying attention. Dumped it all in and realized my salinity dropped from 1.025 all the way down to 1.021 1 
from that 10 gallons, they just didn't put enough salt in it. Um, what I did is use some fresh RO water and some instant ocean salt and a cup. And I put the cup, filled up RO water, filled it all up with salt, put some RO water in there, and then ran it under in a pot with hot water and mixed it up and dissolved it so it was real concentrated and I slowly added it in over a couple hours and uh, raised the salinity up. It's sitting at point 1.02 between th about 1.024 so it raised up a little bit and that was over two days that I raised it up and, and uh, here in the next day I'm going to raise it up some more. But, uh, yeah, everything seems really healthy. I pulled out all the bubble algae. Um, I only popped one one little uh, spore of it, and I had my suction hose right next to it. So hopefully it doesn't spread too much. I got one little one that I see right in there, right behind the mushroom. And I haven't seen too many more. There's one right there, but uh, hopefully I can keep pulling those out and it doesn't turn into uh, too big a deal. Alright, you guys want to go in the tank? I got this, uh, it's a freshwater, freshwater light. I'm not really happy about using it right now, but uh, I burnt out my bulb in my other one, and my other, uh, in my other 96 watt fixture so I uh, am using that for supplemental light until I get another another light I actually kinda like the look that it gives the tank so alright let's go take a plunge in the tank and see how it uh... it looks inside the water it's one of the great things about having a waterproof camera so I'll be back with you in a minute. Just get a couple sh good shots of some of the corals. And I appreciate it, guys. Let me get some. Wrapping the string around me. 